How to install flat or tapered roof insulation over a metal deck. Metal decks should be clean and dry without large projections, steps or gaps. The deck should also be graded to allow correct falls to all rainwater outlets. Unless using tapered insulation as in this instance, the fall in the insulation will provide the passage for any rainwater. If installing over a sealed metal deck, there is no requirement for a separate vapour control layer. If the metal deck is not sealed and the insulation boards are to be bonded down, it should be suitably primed prior to the application of the vapour control layer. If the metal deck is not sealed and the insulation boards are to be fixed mechanically, the vapour control layer should be loose laid. Where one run of the vapour control layer laps another, there should be a minimum of 150mm side and end overlaps, which should be adequately sealed. Turn up the vapour control layer at the edge of the roof. Bonded boards should be adhered with a suitable adhesive applied over the vapour control layer. Mechanically fixed boards should be secured to the deck using suitable fixings. Insulation boards should be laid brake bonded and with joints lightly butted. There should be minimal gaps at abutments. Roof light or ventilator curbs should always be insulated to the same standard and with the same thickness of insulation as the general roof area. A 25mm thick insulation upstand should be used around the perimeter of the roof on the internal facade of parapets. A minimum distance of 300 mm should be maintained between the top of the insulation upstand and the bottom of the horizontal roof insulation. The waterproofing membrane should be fixed prior to any rainfall.